Hey guys, welcome to Apigit. This time we are back with one interesting tutorial. This is about database migration service provided by AWS. Yo, so as by its name, uh, database migration service is basically a service service which migrate a uh, database from one source to another source. Source is your uh, maybe EC2 instance and target could be RDS and so on. So it can uh, it can migrate database from one source database instance to another database instance. And those database instance could be your plain EC2 instances or maybe RDS and so on. So in this demo, what we are going to do is we have one MySQL instance which is having a version of 5.5 .5 and one uh, more MySQL EC2 instance which is having version 5.7. So we will be migrating data from 5.7 from 5.5 .5 to 5.7 and uh, we are not uh, uh, using RDS in this tutorial, we will be simply migrating uh, data from EC2 instance to another EC2 instance just the difference with the MySQL version and uh, After going through this tutorial you can uh, you can migrate the data to RDS and from RDS as well So uh, we are going to keep this demo as simple as possible So let's get started This is my 5.5 .5 version instance and I'm going to SSH into it This one is with 5.7 version. Let's check the version first. So this one is with 5.5 .5 and this one is with 5.7. Let's see what all databases are there. Okay, so here uh, there is a database named books and rest of the database are the default ones and here only the default databases are there. So this is our fresh instance which do not have any manually created database. So we will be migrating this books database from here to here. Let's go ahead and see the database migration service in action. Click on service, search for DMS, database migration service, here click on create migration. So the idea behind database migration service is there will be a source database. Uh, in our case, it is MySQL 5.5 instance. And there will be a target database. In our case, it is 5.7 instance. And there will be a replication instance that we will be creating now. And we'll set a task on it to copy all uh, all the database or not all the database but a selected one that is books database from source database to target database so click on next now we will be giving replication instance a name replication example And I will be uh, using the t2.medium instance since this is a simple migration. Uh, you can keep it to the latest version, the engine version. We are selecting the VPC in which our instance is residing. 
and we are keeping the same VPC because uh, I want to talk uh, replication instance to source and target database over private IPs so I am using the same VPC and we are saying multi AZ to no in advanced setting uh, you can uh, leave rest of the things default but you should choose the same availability zone and choose the same security group which this instance have uh, this is just for simplicity uh, this can have some uh, other uh, security group as well leaving all rest of the settings to the default ones although you can explore this by hovering over the the tool tip so uh, this will give you the information about all these settings click on next now this will be creating the replication instance and meanwhile it is creating the replication instance we can fill up this form which is about the source database and target database left section is for source database and right section is for target database here uh, you can select RDSDB instance but in our example we are not using RDS so we will be uh, will not be checking this now we have to give an endpoint identifier so we are seeing this source endpoint and you have to choose a source engine in our case it is a mysql one so here's the list uh, on which you can apply database migration service so here we will be choosing mysql and in the server name we are going to give the private ip Is 3306 the default of MySQL and we are saying SSL mode to none. Username is root and password is also root in my case, but I uh, suggest you not to use root password and root user. You should choose, uh, you, you should create some other user for this so that uh, uh, your new user will have limited access to certain databases for which you have to perform the database migration. and uh, you can leave all these settings to the default one and uh, as you can see this run test button is not yet enabled because the instance is yet in progress so meanwhile we'll be filling up this target details and we are going to choose the same mysql one and the server name okay now we have to wait for this replication instance to get created Okay, meanwhile, uh, I'll tell you why you should choose database migration service because uh, you can migrate your data or maybe somewhere uh, at a particular point of time you might want to switch to a higher version of MySQL or some other database. So in that case, uh, it will provide uh, your migration with no or minimal downtime. And you can also uh, migrate from on-premise to your uh, cloud instance or maybe RDS. So in that case, this database migration service will be quite helpful. Uh, the replication instance has been created and the run test button has also been enabled. So let's try the run test. So what it is going to do, it will uh, it will make a connection and test if this connect is if connection from replication instance to our source is working or not. And the same is for target. It is again going to take some time. It 
if your uh, test fails then in that case you can you should check uh, if your security group settings are uh, up to the mark or not or maybe your MySQL is binded on uh, 0.0.0.0 or on localhost. If it is binded on localhost, then uh, the connection won't be successful. And uh, your this particular user should be allowed from a remote host. So there is a MySQL command for it to allow host from from remote, uh, from anywhere or maybe from uh, IP range. So I'm not covering that. Uh, okay so connection tested successfully for both source and target click on next now we are going to create task so uh, let's give task this name uh, so we are saying mysql 5.5 to 5.7 Okay, it's saying invalid format. So maybe we need to remove the dots. Okay. So source endpoint, target endpoint, replication example is our instance, and we are saying migrate existing data. So what you can do is you can migrate your existing data which is there, or you can migrate data and replication the ongoing changes. So if you are running now if your database is serving production load so writes and reads uh, must be coming over there and uh, uh, if you are migrating existing data then at a particular point of time it will uh, get all the data and put it to target instance but if you want all your uh, changes that are coming after your uh, uh, at the point of uh, uh, you have started the replication then you should choose uh, uh, migrate existing data and replicate ongoing changes so uh, this will replicate all the changes that are being written to the production load uh, we are not covering this uh, repli ongoing replication changes because uh, we will be covering in some other video so as of now to keep this simple we will be choosing migrate existing data and the task setting is target table preparation mode uh, so you can say drop tables on target so if any tables are there it will drop it or maybe you can say truncate or uh, i'm leaving all these settings to default as of now these are not uh, required now here uh, as you can see it has uh, already imported the schema name so we are going to say um, schema name is book and table is like uh, so this act as a wildcard so we are saying whatever inside this schema get all the things and we are going to add this rule so you have to uh, give one rule at least and we are going to say create task okay so the task is getting created and you can see the completion percentage and here if you enable the logging you can see the logs here as well as of now we have not enabled the logging let's see if uh, any database is getting created or not not yet and let's see what all uh, uh, data is there in books database okay so there is one table authors and one entry in that okay so it is ready and we can start this task so it is starting and 
as of now there is no database named books here now it has been created because the task has started okay so tables has also been created now let's see if the entry is there or not hooray so we have got our data from here to here very easily and you can do task monitoring here logs assessment results and so on okay so this was all about using database migration service and migrating your data from one source database to another target database and here we have seen how to migrate from 5.5 .5 version to 5.7 similarly you can uh, you can uh, migrate from mysql to rds or maybe postgres to rds or maybe from rds to your mysql instance and so on so in the next series of this database migration tutorial we are going to cover uh, replicate with ongoing changes so that uh, any changes being written to the source database should also get reflected in the target database after we have already run the task over BMS so this is all about it thanks for watching please do subscribe Keep learning, keep sharing, thanks for watching.